Just a few days ago, we were in London where we met George Bamford, founder of the Bamford Watch Department, whose main activity centers around the personalization of watches, mainly Rolex, Audemars Piguet's, and Patek Philippe's. He presented us his new hive, a five story building in the very center of Mayfair. Let's talk to him about his vision of luxury and discover some of his watches. You know, I look at luxury, the luxury world, and I think the word luxury is dead. I think individual and personalized is living. And I think it's about our individual taste, our individual design, and the, and the thing to say, this is me. When you're wearing a watch, it embodies the parts of your life of why you're wearing that watch. We've had clients come with their racing silks. So, of their horse racing silks and asked us to match the colour with mud on them as well. That was that was the other thing because it's unlucky to wash them. Um, we've had a guy come in um, and he wanted us to match the colour of his. So he's got a car and he wants to match the colour uh, for the dial. So we had to get the original paint. We've had a lady come in with a vintage Chanel lipstick down to the actual nib of the lipstick and we've had to go out and buy the original lipstick to match the colour for the dial. So let's now see some of those special watches and their special coatings. You've got, and so if I walk through some of the watches, at the moment this is a one of one. So what I mean is this is a unique watch. It's a sandwich dial, so and it's a 369 mil gauss. So and it's got a, a dark grey finish. Washed jade dial submariner. Um, I've done one or two of them like this, and I just love that kind of the pop of colour. Then I'm gonna move on to unique. One of one. This is a hand engraved date just called Samurai 4. You see the detail of engraving. There's a samurai featured all the way down there. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the back of the watch. GPC is this. So this is the self-healing coating. And it is very much, it has this matte feel. It's a totally different feel. You've got the polar, all white. And it's crazy to see a white Daytona. And we've got an AP here, uh, so just an all black AP. Sometimes just keep it simple and just have a wonderful, just blue hand. Mm -hmm. I don't change the heart of the watch. Because as soon as you change the heart of the watch, I believe that it, it loses that soul. So how did this all start? given a Rolex Daytona. Coolest watch in the world. For me, that was the pinnacle watch. I was such a show off with it. I was doing something that I hate to do now, but I'm gonna show you, is I did shooting the cuff. Look how good my watch was. <laughs> and for me, that was, that was how I was. And I went to a dinner party. There was a lot of people at the table. Um, and predominantly, people had a Rolex Daytona. I didn't feel special. And I'm very lucky, I've got a, a family business called JCB, that's a yellow diggers on the side of the road. Um, and they've got an amazing engineering design labs. I went to the engineering guys and I said, um, is there anything in the engineering world that would change a, 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 a color or a structure of steel? And they said, well, it was a DLC process. So I did a black one for me, and I gave one to my father. And that then made people go, what's this? And grabbed my wrist and said, I've never seen a black Rolex. And I was like, really? And then they went, how much? I was like, you, you want to buy this? And that was how it went. I don't, I, I don't think that 
I've achieved where I want to be, and, I, and, and what I mean is that I look at where we can go as a business, and there is so much more. I'm only limited by my imagination or clients' imaginations. Mm -hmm.